Hi, my name's Anthony Turner and this is a short podcast to provide you with an overview of the MSc in Strength and Conditioning here at the London Sports Institute at Middlesex University. So as full-time the course runs over one year but can also be taken part-time over two or even three years. The course only runs on Wednesdays and essentially all taught lessons uh, occur between October and around about Easter. Assessments uh, will, will then be around the month of May into June and then following that all the way up until September again we have uh, your dissertation. So classes are typically 10 to around about 5.30. We have all theory in the morning and then practicals in the afternoon. The theory classes tend to focus on the physiological and biomechanical um, underpinning science that govern the design of strength conditioning programs. We would look at topics such as developing power, the neuroendocrine system, the stretch shortening cycle, but we would also look at data analysis, how to report the data and how to uh, monitor and track changes within the athlete which might change our interventions. The practical parts look at developing technique within the Olympic lifts, uh, plyometrics, speed, agility um, as well and uh, essentially is an opportunity to uh, practice the theory that we would have done within the morning and give it some form of context. So in terms of assessments we try to choose those that best reflect the strength conditioning industry or those that you might face when going for uh, job interviews. So we have uh, presentations uh, to a panel, we have lots of practical uh, assessments, uh, in, namely doing the Olympic lifts, speed agility, again plyometrics. We also have a presentation for uh, an athlete case study and a presentation of uh, some data analysis where you would have to feedback the results and suggest changes within a program to help and support progress within an athlete or a, or a team. Naturally you have to do a dissertation as well and that involves writing up a piece of uh, empirical research in the uh, format of the Journal of Strength Conditioning Research. Within the dissertation, as well as collecting data, with it, whether that be in the lab or in a field-based setting, you also have to undertake a review of literature, and you also have to present your findings as part of a viva. So the modules that you would take as part of the programme, noting that you can also just take them independently for CPD or just to get a PG certificate or diploma in strength and conditioning. So the first one is the um, science of strength and conditioning. That's where we look at the underpinning science naturally. Um, and then would be performance training and corrective exercise. That's where we look at all the practical components and also look at the movement screens and corrective exercise that um, underpin uh, the development of strength and power. Work placement, where you will undertake your case study and we provide the opportunity to work with high level athletes. Research methods, which will support your dissertation and um, the, your dissertation naturally being where you collect your uh, research as your final form of assessment to complete the MSc. So finally, just some general information on the course. We've been running this since 2008 and have uh, continually adapted it to suit the demands. We've had plenty uh, of alumni which have gone into some, um, some fantastic jobs within professional football, professional rugby, at the English Institute of Sport, uh, into lecturing roles at, at various other universities and colleges, and some that are doing PhDs. We also try to get the um, our students to publish their work as much as possible, and have been very successful in that. Uh, publishing in Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, Strength and Conditioning Journal, the UKSCA's prof um, Professional uh, 
um, strength conditioning journal um, and, and various others as well. We also host a conference at the university which is a great opportunity for uh, networking and an opportunity to, for uh, students to present their work as well. And uh, finally we uh, have, a, have a great new campus now at Alliance Park which we share with uh, Saracens Rugby Club. Uh, there we, we test lots of elite athletes, lots of um, elite uh, teams, uh, especially within uh, professional uh, football as well, and supporting uh, GB uh, Olympic teams.